This video we just obtained captures an inmate attack on another inmate. You're about to see what appears to show a corrections officer who knew about it and watched it. This is where you are about to see it go down. It's March 22nd, 2021, the St. Louis Justice Center. Inside a special wing for inmates with mental health challenges called Four Bravo. It's the same floor where this riot broke out that we all watched a month prior. A second riot that broke out on another floor happened after this incident. The video starts with two inmates talking to a corrections officer at a podium. They are about to become attackers of a man in this cell at the lower left of your screen. A St. Louis police report says the corrections officer is Demaria Thomas, who now stands charged with third degree assault for what you're about to see. We also met face to face with her at her home when she declined to comment. The police report says you can see and hear the corrections officer pressing a button that controls the victim inmate's door. Another camera inside the cell is partially concealed, but you can still see the first attacker now inside another man's cell. The police report says the attacker is a gang member and you can see him beating the other inmate, sometimes slamming him against a wall. Back outside, another inmate upstairs seems to hear something happening. He excitedly starts to run down until you can hear the corrections officer warn. Then you can hear her warn another inmate on the other side to stay where he is. The beating continues inside the cell with another attacker joining in. It's now lasted more than 30 seconds. The corrections officer walks over and tells the attackers it's over. The police report alleges the officer did not allow the victim to get medical attention and that the victim's broken jaw was only discovered two days later when another officer noticed cuts and bruises to his face. The victim's family asked for privacy, declining to comment, but connecting us to their civil rights attorney, Mark Pedroli, who wrote, the unimaginable happened at the city justice center with the assistance of a government employee. My client was beaten relentlessly until unconscious, and as he lay there helpless, he was refused emergency medical care for days. It's time for the city of St. Louis to step up, take responsibility, and be accountable. The St. Louis mayor's office responded with only this. Ms. Thomas was officially removed from her duties as of April 5, 2021, after the investigation into her conduct as a corrections officer. The former corrections officer attorney, Terrence Niehoff, wrote me, Ms. Thomas' actions, while they may be subject to her disciplinary action with the Department of Corrections, were not criminal. Thomas has a hearing next week, will be there, along with attorney Pedroli, who says his client has still failed to get appropriate medical care. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.